So our level seven in electronic engineering is all about the design and development of uh, electronic gadgets. So these might be for medical devices or they could be for control of manufacturing systems or for control of autonomous cars. There really is no limit to what you do. And if you look at the consumer devices that you have all around in your house, in your pocket at the moment, that is all electronic engineering. The course is about 50% practical, 50% theory, and that's vitally important because you need to get that hands-on experience. When you go out in the workplace, they will want to know, can you hit the ground running? And this is where we have a huge advantage over the universities who don't do quite as much practical as we do, and therefore you have that little step ahead. So there are a huge amount of jobs that you can get out of electronic engineering, both in the design of electronic systems and also in the control of those. So it might be in a manufacturing environment, medical technology environment, or in perhaps in the automotive. There is a real problem out there with regard to getting electronic engineering graduates, and that has led to a situation where the companies are fighting over our graduates and trying to uh, up the amount of pay that they're going to give them or up the terms and conditions that they're going to give them in order to try and get them to come to their company. And of course, once they're there, they have huge opportunities to move to other companies who will always be offering them more money. Now, of course, you could do electronic engineering in any college in the country. Uh, pretty much every college offers it. What's special about electronic engineering in IT Slide was that we've been teaching electronic engineering online since about 2007, so that's nearly 13 years now. And that means we've built up a huge amount of electronic and digital resources that the student then has available to them beyond just the, the ordinary class teaching. So you can go back over recorded lectures, you can look at all of those resources that are available for our online students, and it means that you get the best of both worlds. The type of student that would be interested in electronic and computer engineering is the sort of student who gets very excited about new technology that comes out, but they don't just want it for the fashion reasons. They want to know all about the specs of the different items. They want to be able to compare one product against another and decide why one is better. So if you're interested in that idea of looking at the specifications of a product and then want to be at the forefront of that, developing those products, that's the sort of student that would be interested in electronic and computer engineering.